Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on webinar Exploring Miracles 24 by 5 SAP Application Support Service for the Enterprise. Today, our speakers will be Tarak Rao Ishwar, who is SAP Delivery Manager at Miracle Software Systems. We also have Ramohan Bogisetti, who is also the SAP Delivery Manager at Miracle Software Systems. Coming to the agenda, uh, today I will cover about the Miracle story, the basic overview with the company, and then we'll speak about what Miracle is offering on SAP side the support methodology that we are following, and the delivery mod model and the team that we are having here. And we'll speak about Miracle's value proportion, the SLA matrix, and then how issue tracking is going on. At the last, we'll have the Q&A session, or where you can either raise your hand on the right side box, or put your questions on the question and answers panel. Moving on, coming to the Miracle story, the primary thing that uh, we do at uh, Miracle and we are proud of uh, is, affordable innovation and quality and efficiency. We have our 85 or uh, 14,000 uh, customers and 500 certified professionals. We have about 2,000 employees working globally in 12 global locations and one of the offshore development center in India. When it comes to industry verticals, we range from manufacturing automotive to energy and utilities and logistics and supply chain, healthcare and pharmacy, retail and banking and insurance. When it comes to the uh, medical expertise, we have deep industry understanding, industry proven methodologies, custom and homemade accelerator set frameworks that we bought at Merkle. When it comes to the strategic partnerships, we have been uh, huge partners for IBM, SAP, Oracle, Microsoft, and the latest trends that will be carried by XPay, Amazon, Apogee, Pinewaus, Atlassian, HP, Rally, Red Hat, and other uh, big clients. Uh, this, these are the SAP services offering that we have. And I will now hand it over to Tarak who will be uh, taking us through these slides. Tarak, it's all yours. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, team. So, good morning, everybody. Uh, as introduced by my colleague, I'm Tarak Eshwar. I handle, uh, I'm, I'm the SAP delivery manager here. I have Ram Mohan here along with me, who is uh, my colleague. So, um, as, as uh, explained by my colleague, we have about uh, 20 plus years of experience in uh, various IT services. It's not limited to SAP alone, but however, my primary responsibility lies within SAP services. Having said that, for past 20 plus years, we have acquired uh, you know, a lot of knowledge in uh, SAP products and the services uh, around the modules within SAP. So, as everybody offers the services in SAP support, we do offer the similar kind of services. In addition to that, we do provide value addition services, which we'll be covering in uh, the, the further slides. So, we do offer the services in the niche skill set, which is probably rare in the you know uh, globe, wherein uh, most of the customers may not have those such kind of services like having custom apps in SAP Fiery and we do have uh, SAP HANA uh, implementation as well as uh, migration services as well. So if you see on the left hand side we have a uh, lot of uh, SAP products which we are specialized in along with the services what we do. So we do have our uh, uh, specialized basis support services which is 24 bar 7. It's not specific to know uh, any region and we do have uh, offshore and uh, on-site model and we, we are uh, known in the market for our uh, you know uh, integration speciality so moving forward I'm going to touch upon the sourcing models what we are offering so if you see the first one it is prof it is uh, we have named it as professional services it is purely uh, time and material based so just like any other uh, service providers, we do have uh, this time and material based services which is purely you know, uh, giving the resource to the customer so that he'll get the work done at, at, his, at their own risk. And then we do have our result based contracts which is, uh, I would say it's a sort of fixed price project which is completely we'll own the deliverables within the committed deadlines and with, with the agreed uh, cost bounded within it and uh, it's completely owned by Miracle Software Systems. We'll take care of the complete project delivery within the agreed uh, 
you know, uh, timelines and deliverables. And last but not least, managed services. This is completely like uh, we'll build, you know, uh, the complete infrastructure for you. It's again, you know, based on your requirements and uh, what has been uh, agreed as per the, you know, uh, documentation. So we'll define the processes and standards in 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 consultation with the customer based on their, uh, you know, uh, requirement. And uh, one specific interesting point is we do have an optional factory model which helps in building the resources according to your business needs. So we groom the resources according to your requirement and then they'll be specifically used for your project throughout the lifetime of the project. You know, once based on your comfort level, if you want to absorb them in future, you can definitely do that. So uh, moving forward, the support methodology. Now we do have uh, application support models suitable for uh, 24 by 7 services, which covers L1 as well as L2. So normally the L1 team uh, receives the support tickets either by the phone or by email, and they'll uh, ensure that it is properly assigned to the right individual or consultant. Their SLAs are in, in normal. Within 15 minutes of uh, receiving the phone call, they should identify the right individual for that, and then uh, they'll uh, you know, assign the ticket to the right individual. If the concerned L1 team member is not able to do that within the stipulated time, you are requested to contact the L2 immediately. So which, in fact, if, if there is a mail, immediately it will be you know, moved to the L2. And according to the priority of the issue, it will be uh, further uh, categorized and then it will be handled suitably. So we do have our own incident tracking system as well. At the development center, for specific to the uh, specific to every project, we'll have uh, uh, support leads who will be in turn coordinating with the team members. So along with the team members, we also have a concept of shadowing. So in any uneven circumstances, if we have to you know, uh, uh, get the work uh, done with another consultant, it may become uh, typical for everybody to get acquainted with the environment quickly. Hence, we have been maintaining the shadow concept. So we'll discuss in detail about the shadow shadow path. So, along with this, we been we have been doing the uh, uh, project monitoring and uh, controlling activities, which are pretty pretty much embedded in uh, as part of our uh, uh, agreement. So we do have um, our weekly, monthly, and quarterly review calls based on the availability of the customer. But we strictly emphasize it's better to have weekly reviews uh, within the team. It, it doesn't need to be involved with the senior management. And uh, once we are done with the weekly reviews, there will be a weekly report published to the whole team who have, who have been part of the, uh, who have reached the required stakeholders. And then we'll also have monthly reviews with the steering committee, which will be in which we'll be reviewing the whole holistic uh, uh, project progress and then uh, in case if there are any unforeseen issues that will also be discussed and then we'll have quarterly review meetings that would be completely with the senior management. So any open issues from the earlier two meetings like uh, weekly review and then uh, monthly review that should get resolved within the quarterly review at the worst case. So, why Miracle? There are a lot of service providers, but why Miracle? So, uh, in, in general, every enterprise does outsourcing. They doesn't, uh, uh, most, most of the enterprises, they doesn't own outtasking. In general, when we say outsourcing, we will be completely giving one specific project to a vendor, which is identified. But when it comes to outtasking, it is completely unique to Miracle. So, normally what we do is, when you have a specific requirement, let's take your team is fully engaged with your day-to-day -day job and all the sudden when they have a specific requirement of developing a small object, which may not take more than eight hours of job. So 
we will definitely do that for you to ensure that you are not uh, rather the business end users are not struggling in in achieving the, their objective will definitely ensure that that is met on time so that's one of the key differentiators and uh, we do have a global delivery centers no uh, we are uh, off show centers is uh, located in uh, india and then we have our near show center as well so having said that we have an overlap between the time zones like eastern time zone central time zone and pst we do have our overlapping time zone uh, overlapping uh, 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 resource uh, interaction between all the time zones so that will definitely ensure like we are not missing the committed timelines in addition to that along with this we do we do not charge anything separately for project management uh, efforts which are embedded within the uh, project so we do have dedicated project managers here along with us and then uh, they'll ensure that project is going smoothly and in case if there is any intervention required they'll uh, definitely ensure uh, it is being mitigated mitigated and as i was explaining in earlier slides we do have our shadow resources concept so normally for every project we do offer uh, shadow resources depending on the volume of the project if if there is uh, uh, a necessity of having more than two or three shadow resources we do afford for that to ensure that uh, customer is not being uh, you know uh, customer is uh, not struggling at any given point of time and we have a large pool of consultants and we ensure that they've been trained on the niche skill sets or as and when in case if there is any uh, uh, new technology or new concept which comes into the market we'll ensure that uh, we are training our resources properly on that and then being uh, being at a you know a two tier city we can say we can give you uh this this uh, uh, total cost operations will become pretty low but it's only limited to the resourcing it's not to the quality what we deliver the quality what we deliver is at par with all the taiwan companies as well being a mid sized uh, organization we are pretty much focused towards getting customer satisfaction and we do ensure that it is uh, every deliver, deliverable that is uh, being promised to the customer is with the quality and delivered on time and as i said we do have set in uh, uh, in house uh, uh, issue tracking systems which we'll be discussing so along with this we do offer uh, few of the client enablement sessions which are uh, listed on the screen so normally we have done in the past even recently we had uh, done we have done proof of technology proof of concepts product demos we do offer all of these for every customer and we do conduct architectural workshops and uh, we we have we have done uh, product mentoring and we normally we groom uh, you know the knowledge within the pool and then it will be shared to the uh, to the customer as and when it is required so if you see on the screen these are few of the metrics that uh, we have been monitoring when it comes to support specifically so how many tickets are open how many are closed in this week so how many are being worked on with the team and uh, the 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 first uh, pictorial representation represents that and then as part of our uh, help desk l1 support how many tickets are uh, being opened by you know uh, every individual and uh, on what duration so these are few of the metrics that we have been following along with this we do follow all the itil standards based on the approvals from the customer it will be further moved on to the uat phase and from uat to the production system once the product, once it's moved on to the production system from the end users confirmation that specific incident will get closed so um in 
in our mid stool which normally that uh, the, the mid stool is offered to our uh, uh, customers for free it's not at any extra charge once whoever is associated with it in case if they doesn't have any other tool like remedy or anything they can definitely use this tool for having an effective uh, lessons learned in case if there are any specific uh, repeated issues or rather even they they can even uh, monitor how their team is how their uh, team is performing. There are a lot of reports that are in built within the tool, and uh, that can be used for having proper, uh, you know, further improvement uh, methodologies. So uh, that's all from my end. Over to you, Shiva. Uh, thank you, Tarak. Um, so if anyone has a question, please do raise your hand on the right side of this panel or put your question on the Q&A panel on the right side. Once again, if anyone do have any questions, please do raise your hand on your uh, attendees panel or put your question on the Q&A panel. Okay, since I don't have any questions, uh, I'm moving on. We also conduct digital transformation and uh, health, health check workshops. Uh, we also provide uh, pilot and lab services uh, just like how uh, Tarki is saying and uh, uh, that's all for today uh, thank you for joining us webinar uh, you can also reach us at uh, team underscore MSS at on Twitter you can watch a new YouTube video that's uh, really cool on youtube.com slash miracle four five six two five you can like our Facebook page and get updates at fb.com slash miracle four five six two five thank you everyone for joining this webinar have a great day